Hey everybody, I am John from JFM Development, and today, you've guessed it, we are reviewing the TFV-12. But, how does it compare to the TFV-8? Well, let's find that out. So there is a lot of hype with this TFV-12. How does it set itself apart from the TFV-8? Why should you go out and spend your money on the TFV-12 when you already have the TFV-8? Let's dive down into these things. Alright guys, so let's take a quick look at this uh, TFV-12. TFV-12 comes with your spare glass. Right here. You'll get your little accessory bag that you normally get with your smock tanks. You get the 510 drip tip adapter. You get uh, the O-ring for the top fill of the tank. You get the O-rings to the glass. Looks like they're both the same color. You got red on each. And you get a nice little goodie bag there. Now what I'm noticing already, the differences between the TFV-8 kit and the TFV-12. The first thing is, is the TFV-12 isn't shipping with the RBA section. You have to get the special RBA edition TFV-12 in order to get an RBA section. This one instead comes with three coils, opposed to the first TFV-8 which only came with two coils. Here we have the first smock coil that came in addition in the kit. It's at 0.15 ohms. The wattage range is between 60 and 190 watts, and it's best between 90 and 160. There we go. Get a nice look at it. And this is the V12 Q4. I like the little lightning bolts. That's pretty cool looking. Alright, now let's look at the next coil. Next coil is the V12 X4. Nice wide juice flow. Oh, actually, that's interesting too. They're different sizes. You got a big square over here, and then you kind of have a rectangle here. Interesting. And then you have the two coils side by side. If you put them both the coils side by side, this one has a huge gaping gap. Opposed to this one, I was two smaller ones, so that's definitely going to affect the vaping experience. Alright, now let's compare it to the TFE8 coil. I'll just grab one of them for now. Alright, this is the TFE12 coil, and this is the TFE8 coil. So again, Smock outdid themselves, and the coils are bigger. There we go. See if I can put it like this and get a better idea. Okay, so I don't know if that helps give you a better idea of how big it is, but that's how much bigger it is. You could fit one inside. <laughs> Uh, it's a lot bigger, a lot bigger, folks. Okay, you get the vape band. It says Beast King and TFE12. And you get your goodie bag with your 510 drip tip adapter, the o rings for your glass. Some other spare O-rings, and then your uh, juice fill O-ring. Get your spare glass. Now let's take a look at this bad boy. Okay, so first we got the drip tip. Actually, let's compare it to the TFE-8. I have a filled TFE-8 right here. There we go. Let's put them side by side. Oh yeah. This big boy. It's a big guy. 
The camera doesn't even give it justice. It's bigger. Like, around the bottom and the top of the same, but in the middle, it's a lot bigger. Like, let's do it this way. There you go. See how much wider it is towards the middle? Alright. Let's break this bad boy apart. So, drip tip. Has a nice juice flow. Look at that. They made it even wider. I like that. I really like that. Kind of has a curve to it now. Now it really looks like a kidney. Alright. I'm going to close that back up. I'm going to unscrew it. Okay, so you unscrew it, look at this coil. Look at this bad boy right here. That coil is insane. Let's look at the water drainage. Water drainage on this coil is from 60 to 350 watts. It's best between 130 and 200 watts. Wow. All right, then you have the bottom o-ring you have the bottom o-ring down here Look at this airflow airflow is huge it Doesn't have a stopper either, but it's firm. It's not going to go anywhere It's nice want to look at the threads it does have a protruding 510 pin but I would not suggest that on a hybrid mod on the bottom it says designed by smock this is beautiful guys okay and over here you have the spare glass Just comes off like that. Simple. You have an O ring right here, and another glass O ring right here. It's the chimney section. And then that's pretty much it. So let's put this bad boy together and let's vape on it. Alright. So first, we're going to need to prime these coils. Should I use this big guy right here? I think so. I think I'm going to use this big guy. Alright. With this tank today, I am going to use some of my lemon tart mix. guessing you're just going to want to prime this bad boy up so I'm going to put some right here let's paint that bad boy put a drop right there Probably gonna be good for that. See, you just want to get it a little bit wet just to start it off, and then the rest will do its work. I like the knurling on this, the knurling seems more sturdy, it allows you for a nice grip. Okay, so now let's put this on my mod. 
Today we're going to run it on the RX 300. Nice big boy. Now this is the ultimate test. Let's see how well this fills. Oh, look at that, guys. That filled up handsomely. Okay, well now we're going to let it sit for a minute and I will meet you back up top. Okay guys, so you've seen what makes up the TFE-12 and I kind of showed you it a little bit side by side with the TFE-8. Now, should you go out and spend your money on one? Now, I've tried this for a week now since filming. I gave it a week. I wanted to try the different coils. All of them are still going strong, but... My opinion is, if you have a TFE-8, don't bother. Really, just don't bother. But, if you don't have a TFE-8 Cloud Beast, then pick up a TFE-12. Because there's no reason in backtracking. But honestly, the improvement differences, in my opinion, are very marginal. I mean, the only difference is, some of these coils you're going to have to be running on higher wattage. So when it really comes down to it, you're just spending extra power rather than getting the same effect. It just makes higher wattage vapes cooler, if you know what I mean. So, is that something that you want? Well, that's entirely up to you. But, in my opinion, it's really not necessary. But, if you do decide to get these tanks, you're probably going to want to start DIYing. And then if that's the case, you, this channel is your best friend. Because here, we do all DIY stuff. You'll be able to make your own e-liquid. You'll be able to fuel your TFE-12 and TFE-8. But at that point, you'll probably figure out you're going to want to be using our RDAs. But in car, that's when I use these tanks. I use these in my car between travel so I don't have to drip and drive. And they work phenomenal. They are great tanks nonetheless. But would I go out and buy one if I have a TFE-8? Probably because I like to collect them. But is it necessary? Are you getting that much better of a vape? Well, that's why I wanted to wait a week before I did my final thoughts. Because usually, you get a product, and you get really excited about it, and you're like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever, this is the greatest thing ever. And it is a great tank. But is it that much better than the TFE-8? Eh, I don't think I can put, I don't think I can say that. So, I, go, I hope you guys really like this honest review. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of DIY stuff, product reviews, juice reviews. We're doing a lot of things on this channel now, so it would be great if you hit that subscribe button. If you liked it, please put the like on it. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave in the comments down below. I'd like to address them. And you guys have yourselves a great day.